Hello everyone, Jack95Gamer here and we're back with episode 20 of my Southampton career mode. And as you can see guys, we're kicking off the episode with some contracts expiring. So uh, we've got Gulli de Prado, Bernard, Forte, Martin and Isgrove. And sorry if you heard a car go by there, my apologies. So um, there's only a couple of players we want to keep on this team. Martin, he looks like he can grow into a great player. So we're going to try and keep him in the side along with Isgrove, I do believe. I uh, don't really care about Bernard, Forte or Gulli de Prado. They can go off on free transfers as far as I'm concerned because they're not worth that much anyway. But um, yeah, moving on guys, we see that Martin does accept our um, offer but... Um, Isgrove don't because he wants to understand that he has a role at the club, understandable, so we'll go in and we'll offer him another contract coming up right about now and probably in the same clip, so yeah. But anyway guys, if I didn't already say, this um, episode, the next couple of episodes are going to be dedicated to the World Cup and then we're going to start our new season um, in the second season of our Southampton career mode and see if we can push for a Champions Cup spot. So uh, yeah, good um, good signs there, but anyway, we um, say that Isgrove is going to be a, sp a sprobriatic first team player. Um, basically, because I think he can grow into being someone quite decent and a great rotation ro rotation player. Sorry, and then uh, Callum Chambers comes in through my office and he says, "Can we discuss our wa wa my wages, boss?" I'm like, "Okay, fair enough. I'm going to go into the contracts yet again and offer uh, Chambers. He's a good right back um, backup. You know, he can become a great player. He's still young and he's still got tons." And tons to learn. So we offer a year ex extension on his contract and upgrade him from about two grand a week to a massive six grand a week pay rise. And we say that he's going to be an important first team player. But he comes back and says he don't believe that he's going to um, squad role. Um, he's not going to get the promised squad role. So um, that's obviously disappointing. So we offer him six grand again and say that he's going to be a crucial first team. I mean a squad rotation player. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. So um, we go into our first now game in the group stages of the... Um, World Cup qualify um group stages. We're gonna start we're gonna start with Courtois for Tongan, Company for Milan, Nangolan, Fellaini, Bakali, Hazard, Dembele, Benteke and Lukaku. And our group, I do believe we have United States in our group, Uruguay and Switzerland. Uruguay probably being our main threat with Luis Suarez and Cavani up front. And obviously our man Gaston Ramirez. But as you can see, United States line up with Guzan Chandler, Gonzalez Reem, Johnson, Williams, Bradley, Gat, Shea, Dempsey, now to do some players we do know in there like Guzan. Tony, um, Tony, I don't know if it's Tony Ream, but Ream, obviously no Bradley, Shea, Dempsey, and Altidor. So it's quite a strong average team that can get result. But in the ninth minute, Chandler breaks down the wing, falls to Bradley, plays the ball back in, and the United States have um, the first attack, but nothing really comes of it. But Lukaku picks up the ball in the 14th minute, guys, crosses it into, and Flanagan crosses it in, finds Benteke, um, Benteke is off the post, and he gets to follow up, and we get our first goal in, the, in Brazil, and... It's a great goal from Benteke. A bit of luck coming off the post and falling back to him. But um, it's a game that we we do deserve to win, I think, because we have a better team. And um, we did start the, uh, the game quite strongly. But then in the 25th minute, we put in a great corner here. Off the post from Benteke again. And we're unlucky not to be 2-0 up. But then the United States breaking the 30th minute with Shea of Stoke. He's going to cross the ball into Gat. He's going to take a first-time shot. Great save from Courtois. And um, that's his first save he's had to make of the game. You know, great ball in from the Stokeman, um, Shea. And it's a great save from our Belgian goalkeeper. Now Dembele picks up the ball, plays it into Romelu Lukaku. A great slip into Eden Hazard, who's going to power the shot into the top corner. And we're now 2-0 up. A couple minutes before half-time, guys. And that is what we needed. We're now 2-0 up. We've got that two-goal advantage. We can deserve to sit... Um, or a fool now to sit, sit back, pass the ball around and just um, get comfortable in this game now because we know that the points are really going to be wrapped up. We're not going to concede against the United States now. We just need to keep it um, tight at the back. A 45th minute though, Gap picks up the ball and finds Dempsey with a great optimistic effort. But uh, it's uh, nowhere near in the end. It goes well wide. But it would have been brilliant if he pulled that off. And we go in at half-time, guys, with the 2-0 lead against the United States. And... As you can see, we have deserved it. We've had uh, double the shots of them, but the possession has been uh, pretty similar. But let's go in the second half and see if we can get something from this. And we do. Lukaku, um, play, uh, Benteke plays a great ball into nine going and finds Lukaku with a header. And it's well saved by Brad Guzan. Altidore now picks up the ball, plays a beautiful ball into Chandler. They're playing great uh, one-twos here. Back to Altidore, back to Chandler. He's going to cross, um, try and cross that in, but it just goes over the bar. Corner to us now, Eden Hazard plays the ball in, finds Mauro and Flaney, but um, they get rid of it. Nine Golan picks up the ball, plays the Benteke with a great looping shot, but it just does not find the way in. And we're now going to make our uh, 
changes and we play on bring on Adnan Yanuzaj, Kevin Morales and Axel Witzel for Fellaini Bacale and I believe uh, Eden Hazard. Nine Garland picks up the ball now guys, he's going to take a shot, it's blocked, Lukaku picks up the ball, he's tackled, Forster Hazard, he's going to play a beautiful ball into Witzel, he's going to play it back into Morales, who's going to play a ball out wide to Benteke, great little pass and move, and he gets the shot away, and it's well defended from the United States, but nevertheless guys, we do end the game with a 2-0 victory and three important points in this group, you know, we need to pick up points, because Uruguay are our main threat, and yeah, we did deserve the game in the end, as you can see. With 10 shots there for and a bit more possession. But uh, great news, Callum Chambers does accept the um, contract offer. But bad news as Ola Jean, our first left team left mid, gets injured in on international duty. And he's out for two months. It means he could miss the start of the season. Gutting, but we just have to um, pick ourselves up and just deal with it. Now we're going to our important, most important game of the group stage. And it is against Uruguay. And um, I don't know if we make any changes to this team. Let's have a look. So um, we noticed that Bacali's quite tired. Hazard's a little bit tired, but we uh, bring on Alderweireld in the centre back position. Kevin Morales on that right mid. Eden Hazard off for Mertens. Then Bale off for Kevin De Bruyne, and the strikers do remain the same. And Junior Melander is going to make an appearance on the bench. A great player. I'm pretty fond of him, and I might try and get him in the upcoming transfer window. But yeah, that's um, pretty much how the team is going to be. I believe. I don't think we make any more changes. I think I'm happy with that. Yep, I believe that is uh, the team we're going to rock with. So, uh, no Mingale in goal. We're gonna, we, he will make an appearance, guys, if you want to see him. But this is the important game. And let's have a good look at the league table as it stands now. Or the group table, should I say. And as you can see, we have two points clear already with Switzerland and Uruguay already drawing. And we can see that Uruguay line up with Molsara, Pereira, Casaras, Godin, Montero, Satani, Gagano, Gonzalez, Rodriguez, Suarez and Edison Cavani so a great side there that Uruguay have and let's hope we can get a result from the game when the 10th minute guys they break through Luis Suarez plays a beautiful ball into Edison Cavani you put your house in him scoring there he misses by a mile guys I could not believe my luck when he missed this you know our defense completely come unstuck but it was a poor shot on his weak foot and we're lucky to uh yeah be ahead and then uh, Benteke takes a shot and it um, comes off the post falls to Kevin De Bruyne hits the post again we're so unlucky not to be ahead guys I can't believe it look at this De Bruyne probably should have scored there but the post comes to Uruguay's rescue and the game remains nil-nil but from the result corner we bang it in with Mertens and who is there Christian Benteke has to put it into the bottom corner and we make up from missing that first goal or that first chance and getting a goal of our own and Uruguay are now back to where they should be 1-0 down, you know, it should have come a little bit before, but I'm not going to complain, guys. And, uh, yeah, we're now 1-0 up. But notice how I don't cut the um, the footage. It's because of this. I don't know what they're doing here, but we ring, ring it, uh, ring it? Win it back with Mertens here, who plays a great ball into Lukaku. Great little one-two from the um, duo here. Mertens picks up the ball. He's going to cut inside there. No one's going to pick him up. He's going to take a shot, and we are 2-0 up within a couple of minutes of scoring our first goal. And Mertens may have just put this game to bed. Great goal from him there. No, the Napoli man. And there's nothing I can really say about just brilliant dribbling. Brilliant control. Kick the ball close to him. He's going to power that shot into the bottom corner. And we're now 2-0 up, guys. Brilliant start from the Belgians. Now, guys, 33rd minute. De Bruyne picks up the ball. Slots the ball into Romelu Lukaku. He's going to take a shot. And we're now 3-0 up. I can't believe it, guys. 34 minutes. 10 minutes before halftime. We're 3-0 up. And this game is pretty much been put to bed I can't believe our luck look at this great play from De Bruyne he's uh, coming to the team and he's done very well I do prefer him to uh, Moussa Dembele if I'm being honest and it's a great crisp finish from Romelu Lukaku to make us 3-0 up now guys and this game has pretty much been put to bed and that is how we're going at half time the Uruguay fans booing their uh, home side off well their, their nation off the uh, pitch and uh, we're going to see that Switzerland uh, lost to the United States, so if we win this game, we're pretty much through, guys. There's no doubt about it. And the halftime stats show that we did dominate Uruguay. But now moving on, guys. 33rd minute, we play a great ball win. It's uh, cleared by Uruguay. Lukaku puts it back into Benteke with a first-time shot, and it just goes uh, a little bit wayward, and it's off target from the big man. But now, guys, 67th minute, great ball in, um, great defending from us. It falls to Luis Suarez, great dribbling there. 
gets away from his players and he should have scored there, but he doesn't and the game remains 3-0 to us. But Benteke now running up the pitch in the 74th minute. He's going to cut back inside. He's going to play a beautiful ball into Lukaku, who is free. He's going to take the first time shot. And again, it's saved well from the goalkeeper. But we bring on Chadley and Anjan Uzaj again and Junior Milano for Nangolo and Lukaku and I believe Morales. I'm not too sure though. But guys, that is how the game finishes. And uh, we come out with three goals and three important points in the group. As you can see, we deserved it in the end. You know, Uruguay saw a bit more of the ball, but you can't deny that we did not deserve to get the victory. Now, we've seen that my job is under review and my position at the club. So uh, I'm, I'm confident I'm going to stay at the job. So I'm not really worried. So I just thought I'd show you guys. Now, guys, as you can see, this is pretty much a nothing game for us. So we're going to make uh, against Switzerland. We're basically through no matter what the outcome. So, um,. Yeah, we're just going to stick on Mingale. We're going to play a very weak inside. I think we play 4-2-3-1, I believe. And we play Mertens up front on his own. So it's a very very poor side out from us. But uh, here's the league table. You know, obviously, if United States pick up a win against Uruguay, which I pretty much doubt, then uh, the, the group could become a bit complicated. But you can see that Switzerland have got players like Inla, Barami, Shakiri, Stocker, and... Uh, you're going to notice that they have that man up front, Stefan Fanic, who, uh, Stef Stefanovic, I don't even know how to say I'm just going to call him Steph. And Steph breaks the deadlock in the sixth minute. Completely, We completely come unstuck with a ball over the top. And he's uh, got the uh, intelligence to run onto that and put the ball into the back of the net. And Switzerland 1-0 up. Look at that. I don't know what Alderwood was doing. He pushed up too far. And, uh, yeah, it's a crisp finish from Steph. But then... Uh, no, um, we break in the uh, 14th minute with Mertens with a great shot and a great save from the Switzerland goalkeeper. Now, guys, 26th minute, we break with Kevin Morales, who sees Dembele on the far, court, far um, post with a great header into the bottom corner and no chance. And we're back in the game at 1-1, guys. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Now, I'm going to say this game is a goal fest. Well, we're going to see who it is for. And uh, obviously, we're back on track now, 1-1, so... You know, he out jumps the uh, Inla, and it's a great goal from Moussa Dembele. But anyway, guys, Shakiri picks up the ball in the 43rd minute, plays a brilliant ball into Steph. He's going to cut inside, then he's going to put another great curling shot into the corner, and he gets his second goal of the game. And Switzerland are going to go ahead 2 1 at the break. Absolutely gutted, guys, but there's nothing we could do. You know, it's a weak inside, and they really have not impressed me that much. Uh, we should be picking up at least, it should be at least a closer game as you can see, uh, four shots to three and they've had a lot more possession, I was disappointed with my side but hopefully I'm going to the second half and uh, that can change, but guys, Stocker dodges loads of challenges, it completely puts our defence unstuck, puts it into Steph, blocked, Shakiri's shot is blocked but it falls back out to Steph to complete his hat-trick, <sighs> we're 3-1 down now guys, I'm absolutely gutted, Minale, very poor goalkeeper, um, in this game, and he really did disappoint me. Anyway, guys, 85th minute, it fall, ball falls to I don't even know who this is, but it takes a shot. What the hell is that, Mingale? I was so fuming with him, you know. Look, look at this. Takes a shot. Look, their captain, obviously, it curls away from them, curls into Mingale. He should be that should be a comfortable save. But the game finished 4-1, and I'm oh, I'm so annoyed. But anyway, guys, we're gonna look at the group tables and see what clubs. Are where in their uh, respective groups, but I'm going to leave you with a look at this. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked, leave a like, and if you uh, want to see more, just click that subscribe button, and I will uh, pr really appreciate it. But anyway, guys, peace out.